Hey friends, it's Chrissy here from Next Level Living, and I just wanted to share this message with you that was on my heart. Um, make sure that you're up to date on the podcast, drop some new episodes that I think are relevant, that I think are really gonna inspire and motivate you at any phase, age, doesn't matter, it's gonna resonate with you. And I was thinking about something today, and I wanted to share. You know, um, I've been working with my team on, we're always working to improve the store. We just did an entire flip of the store. We've been working on um, our social media, on our website. That's part of business. You've got to change, you've got to improve, you've got to upgrade, and actually we get to. And so even with the podcast, always looking to improve things, whatever that looks like. I'm just a forever student, love self-improvement, education, knowledge, and growing and expanding our mind, our consciousness, our heart, our spirit, all of that stuff is essential. Now, I think especially for people that are like a one on an Enneagram or you tend to be OCD, perfectionist, it can be hard for you to put stuff out there because you think it needs to be perfect, it needs to be so curated. And I just wanna share something with you guys. You know, I don't follow, I tr don't follow a ton of people. I'm very selective with who I follow and I have kind of some basic guidelines. Do they inspire me? Um, do they motivate me? What does their feed look like? What's the content? Who is this person? I'm very intentional about who I follow. And guys, we don't need any more pretty feeds. We don't need any more perfect feeds. We need some powerful, relevant feeds. And I know that they're out there because I follow them and I'm like, man, this is good. But I think we need to stop and pause. When something resonates with you, when something speaks to you, if that's a podcast, if that's a sermon at church, if that's a sign on the freeway, we need to stop, write it down, text it to ourselves, whatever we need to do, and let it sink in. In this culture, it's like there's so much inspiration out there. There's a quote everywhere, but it's like, are we actually letting it penetrate our mind and our spirit and our future? Are we actually taking it in and allowing it to do work inside of us? You know, maybe we need to take, sometimes I'll get stuck on one verse and it's like, let me just meditate on that and, and pull all the life I can from it, even with quotes or things that are inspiring me. We don't have to move on to the next thing. And so let's not fall into the trap of just like, oh, that's pretty, that's good, that's whatever. Stop and and think, what is in this for me right now? What do I need to do or apply or execute on? Or let me write this down or share this with my friends because it spoke to me. But don't not post that video, that podcast, that blog, that recipe, the whatever it is because you don't have you know, all the tools or all the stuff. Um, I've been doing this, you guys, for seven years. I've been making videos, putting blogs out there, putting things out there, and they, they haven't been perfect, but I'll tell you what, they've been real. And I think that it's important that we show people that we can be real and authentic. You guys, I don't edit any of my podcasts. And I know people might think, oh, that's reckless. But I believe in authenticity. I believe in showing people that it's okay to have little imperfections and that it doesn't need to be so photoshopped. That's why I try not to put a lot of filters on my Instagram at all. Number one, because I don't want to ever be that person that um, someone finally meets me, which I deal with a lot of people in face-to-face, -face, and they're like, wow you don't look like the same person is on Instagram because how many of us have experienced that? I'm not gonna be that girl. I wanna be raw, I wanna be relevant, I wanna be powerful and you know what? If my feed ends up looking nice, great because we do wanna have excellence and we do want to have creativity. There is nothing wrong with that but that shouldn't be the focus. The focus should be the impact that we're making. The focus should be that we're being real, we're being relevant, we're being authentic because there is enough fake out there. Like it pains me to see th the things that have the most followers. Okay, minus Joanna Gaines. I'm like, go girl, everybody follow her. But I'm not gonna name names, but, and I don't follow celebrity stuff, but just seeing, wow, this is what our culture follows. Wow, Jesus help, that's what I'm gonna say about that. I'm not even gonna go down that road. But we need authentic. And guys, if we share our messes, we will always have a message. And don't forget that. Do not underestimate authenticity, transparency, flaws, unfilter, real life, raw beauty. That stuff is pure gold. So I'm asking you to put more of it out there. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. Let me know what spoke to you. If you know someone that needs this message, share it with them. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Just go onto iTunes, 
type in Chrissy Helmer. You'll find me if you haven't left a review. Please do so that we can so that we can reach this message to more people. You can also check out ChrissyHelmer.com. Thank you so much for commenting, sharing, keeping it real, DMing me, all the conversations that we have when you talk to me in person and tell me what spoke to you. It literally makes my day. So again, thank you guys so much. Be blessed. Have an amazing weekend.